Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to talk about the top 5 technologies that you must know if you want to become a network security engineer. So a lot of people, they are only aware of CCNA or CCNP and then they directly jump onto landing a job as a network engineer. However, a network security engineer earns more than a network engineer and you also get better prospects or job prospects in the industry by being a network security engineer. So let's begin talking about the top 5 technologies that you must know if you want to land a job as a network security engineer. So first of all, we have the Cisco network security technologies. So I'm just going to write this. So talking about the Cisco security, we mostly talk about the firewalls. So we have the Cisco's ASA firewall and we have the FTD as well. So these are the specifically firewalls through Cisco and since 92% of the industry is using Cisco technology itself, so it's important to actually upskill yourself in these technologies. Next up, we also have Cisco's ICE and we have WSA and we have ESA. So Talking about the ESA and WSA, ESA is mainly for, you know, filtering out all those spam emails and talking about the WSA, it's about prohibiting the internet users from going to, you know, all those websites that could get spammy. So if you're interested about adding these technologies in your portfolio or your resume, let's talk about the three main aspects for it. So first of all, we have the prerequisites. So prerequisites for this include CCNA, which is recommended. So you must have CCNA knowledge. And then talking about the job roles, we have network security engineer. We also have security consultant, of course, in the Cisco technology. And we also have security engineer. So after adding all of these technologies in your resume, you can expect a salary of around 6 to 15 LPA. I'm talking about the fresher level or mid-senior level or mid-level only. All right, guys, now let's talk about the second technology. So secondly, it's really important to understand firewalls. All right, so I've also changed the color of the screen so that the visibility is better. Alright, so the second one, we have the firewall. Uh, we'll talk about two firewalls majorly. First one is the Palo Alto. So in Palo Alto, we, the most important topics we are going to talk about is the Prisma and we have the Panorama or Panorama, whatever you call it. So in Prisma, we are going to talk about cloud security. So it majorly includes, you know, how to secure cloud storage systems. So uh, an edge over this, over learning this thing is that you will learn about cloud network security. Okay, so in Panorama, we are going to talk about centralized management. So think of this, if we have a big house and we have multiple, you know, uh, all the CCTVs in a big house and you want to manage from one system or one controlling system, you can think of Panorama of that one centralized system. So in learning all of this Palo Alto firewall, Prisma and Panorama can actually, you know, enhance your career prospects as a network security engineer. So now let's talk about the prerequisites. You must be familiar with the CCN, of course, and you should also know about the basics of any firewall. You can simply say basics of how firewall mechanism works. All right. And if we talk about job roles, of course, that is going to be network security engineer. And we also have a firewall engineer. Okay. And then we also have salary. Talking about the salary, the range is going to get a little bit higher because Palo Alto is a next generation firewall. So the range, it is basically between 7 to 18 LPA. That's all for Palo Alto. Now let's, so, now let's talk about the third technology that you need to be handy with if you want to become a network security engineer. So the third one is the FortiGate firewall. 
Alright. So in Fortigate Firewall, we need to focus on two main things. We have the IPS, which is the intrusion prevention system. And then we also talk about the VPN configuration. So after learning these two concepts, you get, you know, familiar with the, with the Fortigate firewall, which is actually by Fortinet. So let's talk about the prerequisites. So the prerequisites include same as the Palo Alto firewall, the CCNA and the basics of firewall system. And then uh, you can also land a job as a network security engineer or a firewall engineer. So what I would recommend is you can either go for Palo Alto firewall, which is the world's number one firewall. And then we also have another market leader in the industry, which is the Fortigate firewall. And then uh, you can expect a package of around six to 12 LPA provided that you have CCNA knowledge as well as you have the firewall knowledge. So this firewall could be Palo Alto. So with Palo Alto, you can actually expect a salary of a little higher bracket, but with Fortigate, you're good to go as well. So it's a personal choice, which firewall uh, do you prefer at the same time? Uh, you know, if there's a certain industry or a certain company that you aspire to being in. So you can choose the firewall based on that. So the fourth technology is the Zscaler Zero Trust technology. So for this technology, uh, so Zscaler, so majorly it's going to co cover ZIA, which is the Zscaler Internet Access, and we also have the Zscaler Private Access. So mostly this technology, it works on zero trust architecture. So the zero trust architecture, it states that the system or application or devices, you know, they can't be trusted. In fact, a person can't be trusted. So, um, so this technology doesn't automatically give permission to access application online so it would at every step in fact even when a hacker comes in in any application it would ask for permission so zscaler is in fact an advanced uh, security protocol or technology majorly so you would learn about cloud architecture and how to secure it so basically the prerequisites for zscaler they include basics of network security so you it's good to have knowledge about a firewall uh, you could either go for a fortigate firewall or palo alto firewall and then mainly next if we talk about the job opportunities you can become a cloud architect a cloud solutions architect or you can go for uh, becoming a zscaler network security engineer and if we talk about the salary prospects, we can expect a salary of around 7 to 16 LPA after learning the Zscaler technology. Okay, so now that we have talked about firewalls and we have also talked about the security systems via Cisco, it's really important to take your skills up by a notch. So for that, you can learn about cloud technologies. So the recommended path from my side would be going for, you know, Microsoft cloud certifications. So talking about that, we can go ahead with the Azure certifications. So I would go with cloud security. And the certifications include AZ-104, which is the basic level. And then we'll also go ahead with the AZ-500 and we have the AZ-700. So the AZ-104, it's the basic, you know, uh, cloud security certification where you can learn about the solutions architect level knowledge. And then you can go ahead with AZ-500 that talks about cloud security. And then if you want to learn about cloud networks, you can go ahead and go with the AZ-700. So all of these certifications are really important, you know, especially the AZ-104. If you add this to your resume combined with firewall knowledge and at the same time CCNA and CCNP, you can actually become a full power packed cloud network security engineer. So if you really want to earn a package of, you know, uh, as a fresher up to 20 LPA, I would recommend you going with CCNA, then CCNP, of course, combined with firewall it could be palo alto fortigate or any other firewall 
and then you can also go ahead with the AZ certifications. So that's all. You are going to get really high and like lucrative salary packages, and you can also get global opportunities in the industry. So if you're really interested to you know begin your career from scratch as a network security engineer as a cloud network security engineer, you can check out our all access pass. So you can move on to the ott.nwkings.com and you can actually serve up to 60 plus self-paced courses by our really you know top one percent engineers who teach so as you can see in the all access pass we have different courses such as networking we also have cloud then we have devops and cyber security as well so for networking as you can see we have the Palo Alto firewall as well and then we have the SD-WAN we have the load balancing as well and if we're talking about Palo Alto we cover Panorama and Prisma and then we also have ICE we would also be adding you know some other modules uh, so that the content is getting refreshed and the cherry on top is the content by uh, our founder Mr. Arthur Sharma so you can find various modules such as in our CE and core enterprise data center and many more so you can check out our website ott.nwkings.com to go ahead and surf the all access pass and learn directly from engineers that's all from my side so thank you so much for watching